Hi guys, Model Machines TV here, and uh, today I just thought I'd bring you a review on the Diecast Diecast Masters uh, Highline Series D10 T2. Now, right out of the box, obviously this Diecast Masters Highline Series it comes with a nice fancy tin. Uh, I haven't got that here to show you today, unfortunately, but on with the review. So right out of the box, this thing looks awesome. Um, I must say, my gripes to this machine are very limited. Um, we'll start with uh, some of the finer detail. So, it has a lot of detail on it too, I must add. So, start out, some of the first things you notice are the nice metal handrails. Solid, very nice. Now, with this machine, operator in the cab um, is optional. Um, as you probably know, diecast masters normally come with them in there, but in this machine it's optional. So basically you pull off the rops here. Just gotta wiggle it out, it does come off like that. And the roof comes out. And in the cab you've got not a lot of nice little detail there. Your levers and that. I don't know um, too much about dozers unfortunately, so can't tell you much about that. And it goes back on, so I've chosen not to have him in there. So we'll start at the front. Um, very nice blade. I love the uh, uh, the wear plates along the front here. A little nice little detail there. Um, you've got this guard here. It'd be nice if these were little uh, like you could actually go through the holes there if they're actual holes, but they're not. So, oh well. Uh, very nice grill. Nice textured grill. Nice little rubber hydraulic hoses. Very nice. Got your work lights up here. They're painted on. Obviously, more metal handrails. Uh, tracks very nicely. Must add, so it comes up and it tracks. Excellent. Um, functionality, I should probably get functionality out there before I go any further. Excellent. So this comes, the rams are a little bit stiff, but that comes right up. This will tilt right forward, and obviously right back. The ripper, same. Um, I think that's as high up as it goes, unfortunately. That can tilt backwards and forwards, and it'll be ripping up your coffee table because it goes right down like that. So, sorry, back to the, the detailing now. Um, so obviously, like, there's just there's so much detail on this thing. It's kind of hard for me to cover it all. Um, it's kind of easier just to show you guys and let you look. Um, like, you've got all your little, these are cast, your uh, your drive rollers or your drive, drive sprockets, all cast. Um, got all your little bolts in there. It's not covered up with paint or anything. Um, got your little fire suppression systems here. Decals, nice and crisp. Nothing wrong with those. Now, I think it's awesome, this model. How these little engine bay doors here open up. And they're quite stiff. And reveal the engine inside. Now, I do believe these have a C27, um, which is about 990 horsepower. Um, now, correct me if I'm wrong because I'm, like I say, dozers aren't really my field of expertise, but I do believe the C27 is a 27 litre V8, um, so it's quite a large engine. Um, diesel, of course. Um, moving around, um, no textured floor plates on this one, but you know what, with the amount of other detail you've got here, that's, oh, I, oh, I will say I don't really mind. Um, the back here, you know, I've just got your little windscreen wiper, again, as I pointed out earlier, fire suppression systems. Lots of little hydraulic hoses. So the hydraulic hoses are going nuts back here. Um, just with all that fine detail, really. But yeah, that's the back of the machine. Back around this side. Obviously, you've got the same little engine bay door there. Um, I mean, yeah, the, the tracks are all metal. Um, you've got your functioning rollers, two main rollers, top, uh, front and back. Drive roll, uh, your drive sprocket, but none of these other smaller rollers here actually function. So majority of this thing is also metal, I should add. You've got, you know, your roof's plastic. These, your intakes and your exhaust here are plastic. Uh, your rams are plastic. But apart from that, majority of this thing is metal. Uh, it's very, it's got a very nice hefty weight to it. It's even got some detail under there, yeah, underbelly protection, that sort of stuff. Another rubber hose here. But I mean, yeah, this is a this is a fantastic model. It's very pricey. I will say it is very pricey, but would highly recommend. 
This, uh, I, like I said, dozers aren't really my thing. So this will probably be, maybe I might get the D8 as well. Sorry, just move the camera with my foot. Might get the D8 as well. Um, but I mean, honestly, I really only see myself, or see my, see limiting, me limiting myself to one or two dozers. So, but if you're into dozers, I would highly recommend this model. This is an awesome model. Um, I do believe there's another D10 you can get, but I did look at that and it was nowhere near as detailed as this one. Um, so yeah, I mean, you've got here your grills. I mean, there's, it's like, you can faintly see it. It's, looks like it's supposed to be a, a grill. That's just decal though. That's just a decal. Um, all your little nuts and bolts, they're all, they're all there. It's, um, it's quite incredible really. Um, even just the detail we have in the ripper. Unreal. Um, all your little work lights you've got, they're all painted silver. I don't know if that's a little reverse camera or not, but it's it's there. Whatever it is, it's there. Um, like it's just it's just unreal the detail that is in this thing, and like I say, it's very nice, very nice weight to it. It is quite heavy. It feels quality. Um, and yeah, I can't really see myself wanting too many more details on this dozer. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty nicely done for me. Uh, but like I say, dozers aren't my thing. That's not my area of expertise. So someone else might see differently to me. But anyway, that was my review on the Cat D10 T2 uh, by Diecast Masters, 1 to 50 scale. Hope you've enjoyed the video. It's been uh, Model Machines TV. And I'll see you next time with another review.